All right, guys, tournament time. Got us a nice boar raccoon here. It's a crossover to a cornfield. And I probably should have put two traps here, but it's just a high, highly visible spot along the road, and I was worried about theft. So anyways, we got one. Really excited about it. It's cold out, snow flurries going around. Uh, hopefully they moved early last night when we caught some fur, we'll see. All right, guys, got another one out of this culvert today. It's one where I'd like to set multiple traps, but it's just a high visibility area. So we'll keep taking one at a time down low, right? Big, big raccoon, probably a boar again. I'm just guessing, you know, for this snow and the colder weather came in, they decided to run again last night just early. Um, you know, I think they moved more the night before that, but uh, we'll take what we can get today. Let's keep moving. All right, guys, we've got a, uh, a bean field crossing to, uh, to a cut cornfield. Now, the reason I, I didn't set the trails down the way because they've cut the beans and they've cut the corn. So these coon have condensed down to easier traveling routes where they can come off that edge and still be safe. So right here you see we have a 220 set. There's one still set, blended in, and here's our coon dead in his tracks. That's coon number three this morning. And uh, he was coming back from that other field, so he didn't even come through the way I thought he would. But that's all right. We'll take him nonetheless. Good-sized coon. They must ran early for the snowflake start coming in. Well guys, it's been another slow day. Uh, this is a coon in a 220 coming off the edge of water. Got cold last night. We'll take it. It's coon number four today. There we go guys. That's a grand sight right there. That's what I want to see. It's raccoon number five today. 220 right behind the head. He didn't suffer. He didn't move the trap. Right? One and done. Nice trail going under a couple cedars headed over to a cut bean field. And uh, glad I added a bunch of sets yesterday because they're, they're going to count. I need every catch I can get. So anyways, show you a close up. Nice coon. So. Alright guys, got coon number seven this morning in a DP. He was hanging upside down when I came up here up on that limb. but. Uh, it's a nice one, we'll take it. Been a slow day. So number seven will be going in the truck. Well guys, uh, part of uh, being honest with you guys is owning my mistake. And uh, you know, I messed up for this tournament. You know, that's the long and short of it, I did. I uh, shouldn't have ran that line opening weekend. That was pre-stake for the tournament. I thought I could get away with running it. And then uh, moving to a, a new section, a better section even for the tournament line. Uh, I realized Tuesday after I got off work I had to run my trap line each night and pre-stake more tournament line. Um, so I was pulling traps and pre-staking the tournament line and checking in two hours before it got pitch black each night. So anyways I tried to jig jog over to my tournament line Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after work. The weather was perfect Thursday night to catch raccoon, and that was the only night it was great. Um, the cold moved in after that, and you know, I think ultimately I messed up and made a big mistake, and I thought I could outwork it. And it's probably going to cost us the tournament. So, you know, placing. I don't know for sure, but I've only caught, I think, 17 raccoon, 3 skunks, and a possum so far. That's horrible for me, especially considering last year on opening day, I took 26 raccoon, 2 otters, and a beaver. So, anyways, guys, just being real with you, this real trapping, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but I am having fun in the tournament, and I'm learning from my mistakes. And so all we can do is move forward. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's see what tomorrow brings, and then we'll get this video uploaded and see if we get, you know, hopefully we can try at least place third. We'll give her a heck and see what we can do. Appreciate you all. All right, guys. Great news. 
uh, morning of the, the final morning of the tournament, and we got us a raccoon. So, uh, it took about eight or ten stops, but that's all right. That means they at least moved a little bit. Big raccoon, but we got to get this one dispatched and get this line ran this morning. Check-ins at uh, noon or one, I believe. Well, guys, our next check, another raccoon. That's raccoon number two this morning. It might be a good day after all. It, the wind died down last night, so maybe they moved. So anyways, we'll get this one dispatched and keep on rolling. Need a big turnout today. Two stops later, got a possum. Possums count for the competition, so we're pretty excited. One and a half blind set. Let's keep rolling. Going to be a good day, I think. Alright, guys. Got a raccoon at the very next stop. So, in a DP. White Z trap. This is great. Let's keep rolling. Keep this pace. Alright, guys. Coming out of a culvert off the corner of a fence. Raccoon number four of the morning. That's four raccoon, one possum, one brave cow. <laughs> so anyways, let's get this one dispatched, keep rolling. All right guys, coming off a brush pile, dog proof, simple set. You know, I could have gave up and said yesterday when it was cold and windy that, you know, competition was done, we were gonna lose, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't. I went in and put in a bunch of sets, and it's paying off. Whether we win or lose, I'm just real happy to be running a trap line, having fun with some of my buddies. So, anyways, we'll get this coon dispatched and keep on rolling. All right, guys, this crossover was confusing. Uh, we have a culvert there. There were three trails that split on this side, and it was the predominant trail. But I remember thinking, you know, I better set this one over here, and I'm sure glad we did. Got another raccoon there. I put a one and a half, I believe, on each trail, and uh, we got us a nice raccoon for it, so let's keep rolling. All right, guys, got a double at this location. Nice raccoon in the culvert. Up the way, we got a possum. That's great. We'll take it. You know, one and a half blind set over here, DP over here. As a trapper, I try not to get too cocky, guys, but sometimes it's hard when you get doubles like this. There's catch number one, catch number two. Look at that, thing of beauty. A couple fat gray squirrels. <laughs> so anyways, let's keep rolling. All right, guys, here's another one. This one's closer to a house, so ran a dog proof, got a coon. I should have put in two there, but I was out of DPs at that point. That was the end of uh, last night, so let's keep rolling. More coon to catch. One and a half blind set. Strikes again. Going to cut corn. Let's get this one dispatched. We're on a roll. like keep it that way. Well, guys, another grinner coming out of a culvert, going from a pond to a creek pasture. One and a half blind set, so he's just laying there sleeping or playing dead. Well, get that one dispatched, keep rolling. All right, guys, this is uh, coming off the edge of a pond and some brush. And we got us a skunk. I really pinched his head, but he's, he, he didn't make it long. So anyways, it's the first skunk today. We'll take it. Give you a zoom in here. He didn't suffer, it thumped him good, so anyways, keep rolling. All right guys, so here's a uh, trail going up to corn. Got a big possum. I put a 220 on the other side of the road, we ain't got nothing there, but big possum, so that's something, right? But we gotta keep rolling. All right guys, got this coon in a one and a half blind set. Nice trail here I'm standing on, heading from uh, pick beans to, to pick beans so you know you can get them on these trails there was plenty of sign that's for sure so anyways we'll keep rolling I don't know how many coon we're up to but it's a good number so I feel pretty happy about that well guys the line's been pretty slow for a while 
But here's a grinner and a DP coming from water to corn. Going over the top, so we'll get this one dispatched, keep rolling. Tournament's almost over for me. Well guys, look at one of my catches. Problem is that the, this catch is so close to the road, I gotta be very cautious how I approach this skunk. He's already on edge because of people driving by. So, anyways, pretty excited though. Another catch for the tournament. Well guys, here's been the setup the whole tournament. Been running out of the front seat of the truck. Got my, my spotlight there, just for checking in the dark in the ditches. Oh, well, that's important. That's how I've been running my heat the whole tournament. When it's cold, and then when you get too warm, you just crank her down one, but it keeps your feet flash drying off if they get wet and keeps the window from frosting over. Then I keep my window halfway open. <laughs> You know, because fat people need to have a uh, fresh uh, breath of air, too, while you're running hard. All right, guys. Well, there she is. Got, I don't know how many coon, how many possums. I remember we have two skunks, though. So that's the uh, final for today. On, We'll go uh, load them in the back of the truck to take to the uh, tournament check-in and go from there. Alright guys, so fish today with 10 raccoon, 7 possums, and I already threw the two skunks in the other truck here. You see the skunks, we ended with 5 of them. There's a 1 tuck there, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the 5th's up there. And here's the other raccoon we took, which are 17 and 1 possum in the back of the truck here. So we ended the tournament with 27 coon, 8 possums, and 5 skunk guys. I should have done better, but you know what? I had fun. I learned a lot. I hope they do this tournament again because I've got a lot of ideas of what I want to change and how I'm not going to run a line right before I run the tournament line. In conclusion, guys, I had a great time, and I appreciate you following along with me. We'll get back to regular trapping season and go from there. Appreciate you guys. Hit that thumbs up. That gives me uh, a good idea what you guys want to see.